Good evening, everybody. Today, let's uh, have a session in English. So, I'll just brief you all about this uh, understanding or this psychological freedom. So, first, let's see why do we need this. So, let's uh, take a mind. So, this mind it perceives through our senses, and the intellect. It processes all the info that is being perceived by the mind and it works on that. So the mind only experiences everything that we perceive from the external world. Mind only is the window to the external world. These senses, they experience through mind only. So mind is very crucial and it's very important. But in the mind, we experience pleasure or a pleasant feeling when things go our way or as per our wish. And we experience pain or unpleasant feeling or some negative feeling when things go against our way. So this mind understands everything in terms of pain or pleasure. The expression may be in the form of thoughts and emotions, but all in terms of pain or pleasure only. And most of our energy goes in handling our mind rather than in handling the external world where the real action is needed. In the external world, others can help us, they can advise us, they can act on our behalf, they can support us. These things can happen in the external world. But in the internal world, others can say something. But whatever others say, only we have to face the, uh, face the pain or the pleasure. So this is where we struggle because we don't know how to handle this pain or pleasure. So we are fighting with our own self, trying to manage our own self, trying to control our own self. So uh, when we see Ayas concept, Ayas concept is different from our other traditional approaches to spirituality. This is not talking about any spiritual beliefs, so not about any practices, etc. So now let's see what's the concept called Pravagam is. This concept is completely scientific and logical. Anybody can understand this concept and you can do an experiment and test it on your own self. The only requirement is you have to be ready and open to experiment and test. So anybody with an open mind can understand, test it on themselves and understand this concept and logic. So let's move to the concept now. So we have body and a mind. These are the only two things through which we experience everything. So we are all made up of body and mind. So when we see a body, this body has involuntary functions like heart functions involuntary on its own, lungs, kidney, all the internal parts. So digestion happens involuntary, breathing happens on its own. So many functions, most of the functions in the body happen on its own. These are the involuntary functions. And we have no control over that. For example, breathing. We cannot say that I was very busy today in work, so I forgot to breathe. Because it happens automatically. and We have no control over that. And the other part is manual or the voluntary part. Which does willful actions. Like walking, talking, running. All these are willful actions. And these are under our control. Similarly, like body has involuntary function and voluntary function, mind also has automatic functions, thoughts and emotions, which arise depending on the external world and depending on a person's nature, how the person was brought up, on his beliefs, etc. And voluntary function of the mind is thinking, like planning to do what is to be done and acting on those thoughts. So where is the problem now? Do we have a problem in the automatic part 
but the problem is in the willful part. So let's just question ourselves now. So suppose we take a thought or an emotion. Can I create a thought or an emotion? Can I change a thought or an emotion? Can I increase the duration of an emotion or a thought? Similarly, can I reduce the duration of any thought or emotion? So when we check and test ourselves, then we will understand that all these are automatic functions and we have little or no control on all these things. But we have a misconception that we have to take responsibility for all our thoughts and emotions. So we think, how can I have such a bad thought? How can I have this bad emotion? This thought should not have come. This emotion should not have come. How can I feel so uh, bad? How can I worry so much? How can I get angry with that person? So all these emotions and thoughts which come up on its own, we think that we can control and we start questioning ourselves on these emotions and thoughts. Because we've been brought up like that. So we try to own up our thoughts and emotions. But the only place where we can own up responsibility is where we can convert all these thoughts and emotions into actions. For example, I'm angry with somebody. The arising of this anger is not under my control. But expressing this anger in the form of shouting at the person or beating or doing something for that person is the action which is under my control. Here also, wherever it is appropriate, wherever we have the right to take action, wherever we have the authority to take action, and wherever we are empowered to do, only in those places we express our anger. For example, suppose we get angry at our boss. We don't express our anger. Whereas, we get angry at our juniors and we express our anger. So, here we use our intelligence to distinguish between these two people or any two situations. This happens to all of us. It happens in a fraction of a second so that we miss this. So here our intelligence works between a thought and an action. And this is where we need to take care. So we have responsibility only for actions which are driven from the thoughts and emotions. So once you experience and test it on your own self, and come to a conclusion that all the thoughts and emotions come on their own and we have no control and we have no role to play there, then you can shut that area completely and put the no entry door there and focus only on the external world. No asking why am I angry, why am I sad, why am I worried, but you should maybe not ask all these questions but only on what I can do outside. The focus should be on what can be done outside to handle the person or the situation outside, to handle the relationships, to handle your work, work pressure. So to handle all these better externally. So this is where our focus should be there. And on, in the internal world, in the psychological world, we can put a no entry board and we need not peep into that at all. So this is the crux of Ayas concept. So now if anybody has any questions regarding this or anybody wants to discuss anything, you are free to ask, you are free to discuss. If you want to ask in Tamil also, it's fine. Not necessary, the questions have to be in English. In both the languages are fine. So however you want, you can either ask or share. Share your experience, however you feel like. We can go ahead. Okay, Jagadishwaran sir has told, I am in my village, my signal is too weak to voice. Okay, yeah. Yes, thank you for that. Uh, Sadashwaran sir, I am unmuting you. You can unmute yourself and talk, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. And we, we say it is pain or pleasure. It's, um, we have, we give a hidden, hidden meaning that uh, 
if we understand this one we will we will not go into pain or pleasure but uh, we continue to have pain or pleasure so what is the is it uh, this understanding is making any any change so uh, it is not that pain and pleasure will not be there that's what uh, you were asking you sir am i right in understanding yeah, your question yeah. Pain will be there, pleasure will be there, but we will say okay for both. Even if pain is there, it's okay for us. Even if pleasure comes, it's okay for us. So we will not mind pain or pleasure. It's not that pain and pleasure will not come. They will definitely come. So all the emotions will arise. All the thoughts will come and go. So all the thoughts and emotions which come and go, they may be painful or pleasurable ones. So it's not that pain and pleasure will not be there. We will not mind it because it's okay. Even if it's pain, we know that it's going to come and go. Even if it's a pleasure, we know that it's going to come and go. So we don't mind anything. But we don't we own have up this, that. Yeah, but we have this pain and pleasure all the time. Is it? Is it? So? Yes, sir. As per the situation outside, as per whatever is happening outside, mind will reflect. <laughs> whatever is happening outside so accordingly pain or pleasure will arise in us okay. so so we we don't have to do anything with that we have to yes. live with it we don't have we there's no need for us to take any responsibility for the pain or pleasure which is arisen from the external situation if we can tackle the situation externally Yes, we can do it so that this pain or pleasure can go away. Otherwise, we just leave it. Anyway, the pain or pleasure, sensation or the feeling or the emotion will go away. They will not stay with us forever. So whatever comes, goes. It changes. Everything is changing, no, sir. So this also will change. This but too when shall we pass. Have, sorry. When we have uh, pain... We, it's very difficult to carry out uh, external work. Is it right? Maybe because the focus is on the pain, sir. So there is no need for us to focus on the pain. The focus should be on what is to be done externally. When the focus is on the physical world, outside world, external world, we will not mind what's happening inside. There's no need for us to see inside. There, we've already put a no entry board there. So whatever is happening inside, there is no need for us to do anything about it. All our focus should be on what is to be done outside. It's okay. Whatever is there inside, it will pass. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Priya. Uh, I've unmuted you, ma. You can unmute yourself and speak. Good evening. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Can Good you evening. hear? Yeah, I can hear you, ma. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. I even last time I thought of uh, speaking to you, um, but I was just busy uh, just listening, only just listening to you, ma'am. Okay. Um, uh, I am uh, recently started uh, reading uh, Aya's book and all that, ma'am. For okay. past uh, four weeks only. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had a uh, ma'am. I had some depression and anxiety problem. Okay. Uh, sleeplessness problem suffered for two months, and uh, uh, then somehow I am okay, ma'am. I'm uh, somewhat I that uh, tablet and all I cut down. Now I'm able to sleep. Um, just uh, I understood. Ju just uh, we have to be nothing to do with the mind uh, like that. I understood. I'm somewhat okay. Uh, I'm frequently speaking to Babulal sir, and uh, he was uh, guiding me. Uh, only a little bit of medications I'm taking now for anxiety and depression. The sleep tablets and all I've cut down, ma'am. So I'm uh, I'm fine now. Uh, just ma'am, now previously I used to do some meditation and exercises. Uh, recent time I stopped because of this mental my problem. No, I was not able to do anything actually. In home also, in office also, I was not able to perform anything for two months. I really suffered. Now I am okay, ma'am. Past three weeks, I am doing my work in house and even in office also, I am doing good. So this meditation and all we can do, no, ma'am. Is it really? It will interfere with this anything or? Uh, um, 
No, see, as far as the exercise is gone, concerned for body, you can do any exercise and whatever is required for the body, you have to do it, ma. To okay. maintain your body and to maintain your physical health, whatever is required, that you have to do. And, okay. uh, as far as meditation is concerned, if you are doing with an expectation to control your mind, with mm. an expectation to see some change in the internal world, then meditation is not necessary. But if you are not having that intention in your mind, and if you want to do meditation, then you can do it. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, fine. Ma'am, uh, can you share your contact number later? Anything I did, I can call you or something. Sure, sure, definitely, definitely. You can just uh, give me your number. I will make a note of it. So that, yeah. Or you can put it in the chat. I will make a yeah. note of it and I'll send you a message. Yeah, sure, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, now I'm feeling better. Uh, my husband was actually handholding me. He's a very nice person. But uh, uh, we both used to get a lot of arguments also, ma'am. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, he's, no, by, by nature, no. We are uh, we both are uh, two extreme opposite. <laughs> nature. Okay. Uh, he's, um, he wants everything perfect. I will take it light. And uh, um, I'm very polite and soft. And he is very, what, uh, he's a very strict person like that. But he is lot of love uh, and uh, he was taking care of me like that uh, sometimes we end up in arguments like that ma'am so i will talk to you later uh, sure. maybe with that and all arguments that. and fights are every, uh, there in everybody's life so there's nothing wrong about it as long yeah. as we patch up and get back to normalcy that's okay ma'am these things can happen in everybody's life yes ma'am okay ma'am okay thank you thank you ma'am any other questions you can ask uh, no, ma'am, not right now. I'll call you, ma'am, in uh, start somewhere. Sure. I'll call you, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Mahesh, I've unmuted you. You can unmute yourself and speak. Yeah. Uh, Good evening, sir. Namaste. Good evening, Namaste. Yeah. Uh, if a person is not enlightened, what, what could be the reason? Maybe he's not interested in that. What is your question? I didn't get no, it. Uh, a person who is interested in this line but not getting enlightened. Or a person who is not inclined exactly. in this direction at all. No, a person who is not inclined, he won't, he won't ask you this question. Yes. Yeah, if a person is uh, interested in enlightenment, but he is not getting enlightened, so what could be the reason? As far as our concept is concerned, maybe the understanding is not clear. If he has a clear understanding, and then you, you instead of taking this understanding as an instruction, you work on it, and then you understand it and make it your own understanding, not somebody else's understanding. You have to work on this and then uh, test yourself, check yourself and see whether all these thoughts and emotions, they arise on their own, whether you have any control on that. So all these you have to check, test and then make others understanding what I say as your own understanding. Once it becomes your own understanding, then uh, there is no going back. Now, how do I check whether I am enlightened or not? How do I verify? You have to see, once you have this understanding, you just have to conclude that you're already enlightened. And whatever works, will start working. Whatever has to start working, will start working on you. You just have to understand it. The understanding has to be firm and deep. It should be deep-rooted. Once you understand, and there's nothing that is to be done in the internal world, and all your focus should be on the external world only, then everything is done. Your work is done as far as the internal um, journey is concerned. So that's it. Then you know, it, you just uh, come to a conclusion that you're already enlightened and that's it. Your job is done. Okay. You got it? Yeah, fine. I mean, uh... That's okay, but the concept is okay. But uh, uh, the, my my mind is functioning as usual. Uh, it will function. 
whatever emotions were there, whatever disturbance was there before uh, understanding this concept, and after understanding this concept, uh, whatever uh, was the state of mind, or whatever was the uh, functioning of the mind, or whatever was the agitation in the mind, the mind is functioning. There is hardly any difference. Okay, so what is the understanding so, I mean, uh, that you got? What is? How did you understand this concept? Can you just explain how did you understand this concept? Just now, yeah, just now you told me that uh, we have nothing to do with the internal functioning of the mind. We have to focus only on the external things, not not on the internal uh, you know, functioning of the mind. That itself is the understanding. Okay, fine. So what are you expecting? To do with the, uh, with our mind. Okay, fine. So you understood that much. So what is your expectation from your mind now? My expectation is uh, my mind has to. I mean, after uh, knowing this concept, it has to function in accordance with that concept. I should not okay. now uh, once again start interfering with the mind. I should not uh, once again. I should not start uh, 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 worrying too much about uh, you know what what uh, what is happening, uh, what has happened, or what is happening, or what what would happen. You know, these, these are all the internal worries. This mind is creating all these illusions. The mind is creating unnecessary worry. Okay. And I, and I'm all the time uh, getting involved in that, whereas okay. I should not. Okay. So you have an expectation from your mind that worry should not be there. After this understanding, worry should not be there. Am I right? Worry, has, worry will be there, but I should not bother about it. It should not bother me. Huh. Okay, when will you not bother about the worry? One, when you know, when you've understood that worry is a, it's its nature. The mind's nature is to worry about something. Mind's nature is to reflect whatever is happening outside. So from the situation outside, from whatever is happening in the external, in the external world, mind will pick up something and uh, it will express in the form of an emotion or a thought. So these things will happen. So once the understanding is very firm, we will not expect our mind to be in a calm state or a peaceful state forever. These ups and downs will be there. The thing that we have to understand here is the worry which is coming, when does it linger on? Only when we hold on to it. When we focus our attention in the internal world on the worry rather than on the external work that is to be done, then this extends, the duration of the worry extends. Isn't it? So when you don't yeah, take a true, responsibility but, uh, for the worry and put your focus on the action that is to be done outside, then this takes a back seat. Now, my question is, uh, is it the ego which is coming in between? Is it the ego which is not... Uh, not uh, 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 allowing me to accept uh, what has happened or what is happening or what, what would happen. Is it this ego which is uh, creating these problems? Yeah, whatever is causing the problem, what is it that you're expecting, sir? You're expecting that your mind should not have all these things. This expectation, this thought, this expectation from the mind that this should not happen. This is the way it should function. This is the way it should not function. That is the cause for the problem. Yeah, uh, there, there has to be there has to be some difference uh, in the way I I perceive things. There has to be some difference in the way my mind works before uh, learning these concepts and after learning these concepts. Yes, if the, the mind is functioning the same way. As working earlier, if I'm if I'm still worrying, just as any other uh, person who is uh, not having enough knowledge of uh, the enlightenment. Then, uh, and then what is the difference? I mean, then, then what uh, good is uh, this concept for? After learning also, if I am the same person, then uh, uh, all this time has been wasted actually. It's, it's, it's like uh, simply reading some story, some stories, you know, and some mythological stories or some Buddha stories, some Mahavir stories. Uh, they're nice to listen. But then uh, uh, once, uh, once you come out of the temple or once you come out, uh, once you finish seeing the TV serial, or once you finish reading that book, uh, which is very interesting, once again you are back to the same square one, once again you are back to the same person. 
uh, once again you are back to being uh, uh, the same worrying person or the same worrying mind or uh, and the same disturbed person altogether you are not a different person you are not uh, enlightened i i think an enlightened person is not disturbed as uh, he would be earlier there, there has to be some striking difference between uh, the person who is not enlightened and a person who is enlightened okay okay sir so um, okay let me say this so now we let's take a breath for as an example okay so um, I, i i'm asking you to uh, take 10 counts of breath okay and then i'm asking you to hold your breath for 10 seconds so can you hold your breath for 10 seconds i'm just asking yeah, yeah. yeah okay so now i'm telling you you hold your breath for 10 minutes now is it possible no that's not possible okay so now we understand the breath it functions on its own we have no control over our breath okay so now we understand that much we can only regulate our breath but i have no control on my breath so that much i understand is it uh, understood sir hello yeah regulation in the sense uh, yeah okay we, I, we can regulate but to what extent that's all so i can i can only regulate it to a very sh uh, short extent not for a longer duration so i understand that i have no control on my breath so now that i understood i have no control on my breath okay so i have understood now i have understood the concept of my breath how it works and it has it will flow naturally everything will happen on its own i have already understood about my breath so does this mean that the breath will always be flowing in a uniform pattern and in the same pace because i have already understood how the breath is functioning understanding is there about my breath does this mean that the breath will always be flowing in a uniform pattern and in the same place and ups and downs will not be there in the breath does this mean that no there will be ups and downs so but uh... i understood about my mind now similarly like how the breath is there now i have understood about my mind i have understood there is nothing that i can do in my psychological world but this doesn't mean that it will be flowing uniformly all the time ups and downs will be there i cannot expect it to be uniform all the time that's okay but uh, what i'm saying is uh, this uh, uh, this understanding has uh, has always been there i mean uh, before learning uh, these concepts of uh, bhagavad ji uh, my my mind was functioning the same way i was uh, uh, i was having the same agitation i was having the same anger uh, same uh, resentment against uh, what has happened in the past same helplessness uh, same grudge against uh, people around and uh, even now the it is functioning the same way yes. uh, the the i thought maybe the power of acceptance will come into picture and i will become more serene no uh, is, all we know about buddha the enlightened person he is a more serene person now he is not the same same uh, prince uh, uh, as he was before enlightenment okay even when buddha says i got enlightened then then there has he must have uh, experienced some uh, some extraordinary uh, difference striking difference in the functioning of functioning of his mind before enlightenment and after enlightenment yeah, that is when he is saying that i got enlightened or else why would you say that i got enlightened even osho says that uh, the day i got enlightened um, uh, he must have experienced uh, some difference in the functioning of his mind and th that is that is uh, when he said that uh, uh, this is the day i got enlightened or uh, he must have got some uh, extraordinary experience uh, out of which he is saying that uh, the, 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 this is how i got enlightenment this is got uh, this is how i got enlightenment and uh, and uh, and probably uh, he went on to explain that uh, now i am not the same person as i was earlier so they must have noticed some some something different than uh, what uh, they used to notice earlier okay so either our cons concept of enlightenment is different and uh, may, maybe the concept of uh, enlightenment as uh, uh, being described by osho or uh, buddha maybe that, that might be different The maybe his enlightenment experience is different 
the definition of an enlightenment or enlightened person uh, as what we understand is different sir that is there and uh, from what you are telling um, see these changes do not happen to us overnight these changes do take time the thing what we have to understand right now is you, you were asking what is the difference between before and after for us people who are in ias part so uh, the changes will not happen overnight like yes, till yesterday you will be having all the emotions and all the thoughts and uh, you will uh, maybe uh, earlier you were fighting with those thoughts you would have said oh i don't want all these negative thoughts i don't want all these negative emotions i take a responsibility it is my responsibility to let go to get rid of all these negative thoughts to get rid of all these negative emotions that was what i was doing before i got this understanding but after the understanding we know that i cannot i do not have any responsibility in my psychological world so i do not own up my emotions it's not mine it, it is just coming on its own and it will go on its own it is not mine for me to take a take responsibility and try to control that so only when i own it up i will try to do something about my emotion i understand that these things come and they will go on their own and so as and when these things uh, thoughts and emotions come and you drop taking responsibility for this the changes which you were telling earlier slowly they will start happening they don't happen overnight so you keep dropping your over responsibility time, yeah over a period of time what do i need to do you don't you just have to drop slowly taking responsibility you have to stop taking responsibility for your emotions and your thoughts for your psychological world but, stop taking uh, responsibility focus your work only on the external world because internal world you can't do anything about it so the more you ignore you don't put your focus on the internal world it will take its own shape on its own and in due course of time you will see a difference but i am not able to do that in, in spite of knowing the concept uh, in spite of knowing the concept that i should not uh, uh, you know uh, interfere with the internal functioning of the mind uh, still i am not able to uh, come to terms with this concept i am still um, getting involved yeah because maybe that's because maybe you you still think you have something to do in the psychological world maybe you still think that thoughts they don't come on their own i can do something about my thoughts i can do something about my emotions maybe that's what you are thinking so once you check test yourself and come to an understanding that these thoughts and emotions they are just a reflection of what's happening in the outside world and i have no control i need not take any responsibility for these thoughts and emotions so we do own up don't you yeah. stop owning up these hmm. the point here is these uh, thoughts and emotions which are coming they are because of some external experiences yes okay some external experiences are there which are now coming and troubling as thoughts so yes. those external experiences we, we could not uh, deal properly we could not uh, 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 that could not happen according to our uh, our way of thinking that could not uh, happen according to the way we think it should have happened yes and probably that is why this is time and again coming and uh, troubling us yes. uh, asking us to find a solution for this one yes yes so you have to find a solution in the but external no world yeah but uh, when that doesn't when we cannot do anything about the external world only then uh, these thoughts will trouble us if you can do something in the external world then you focus on that and do it sir if there is nothing for you to do in the xt there are certain situations where we can't do anything in the external world okay we just have to let go because whatever is coming in in, the, in psychologically we know that we can't do anything about it externally there are certain uh, situations there are certain things which are happening which we may like or we may not like so there may be many situations which we may not like which may not be as per our desire those situations we think can't do anything about it nothing can be done we just have to accept it that's it and the feelings and the thoughts will arise according to the situation which is there outside these negative thoughts or negative feelings will arise inside us 
you just uh, don't bother about them. You just don't take a responsibility for them. If we can find a solution externally, fine. Let's go and find a solution. If there, nothing can be done outside, that's it. Just drop it. That's true. I mean, according to the concept that we have, according to the concept which I have told, when we cannot do anything about the external world, then we should not uh, entertain the same thing in the internal world. But uh, in spite of knowing the concept, still uh, uh, we are getting involved. That's uh, what I said. Because, entertaining uh, is not your job. That's what I'm telling you. You are thinking, still thinking that you are entertaining the thought. You are entertaining the emotion. It is not under your control. You are not doing it. So you are still thinking that you are entertaining yeah, the thought. No. I'm that getting involved because uh, because I am I'm getting involved. I am not the uh, initiator, but uh, it is coming on its own. Uh -huh. uh, but the thing is, I am getting involved. Because I have to find a solution. That is why I am getting involved. Yes, I agree. So externally, if you can find a solution, please find a solution. Externally, if you can't find, still these things are coming up. Nothing can be done about it. So whatever comes will go. Whatever thoughts and emotions which come, they will go also automatically, sir. They come automatically and they go automatically. Okay. How much ever you try to hold an emotion, you cannot hold, be it a positive or a negative emotion. Be it a positive thought or a negative thought, how much ever you want to hold it, you want to retain that, it, you cannot do it. It will go, it will move away. That's its nature. Uh, Mr. Mahesh, I think you, you got unmuted. You can... Are you good? Muted now. Can you unmute yourself? Okay, fine. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, Jagadish Shuran, sir, from Saida Pet. So, you can unmute yourself and speak, sir. Yes. Good evening, uh, sir. Uh, hello? 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 Ah. Can you, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Uh, first, from yesterday, uh, I am a bit worried. Uh, see what, uh, what has happened is, uh, usually we have a practice. During the Sivaratri, uh, uh, we used to go to the Tua Otam. Tua Otam uh, Nasirida, we go to seven. Uh, Shiva temple to Shiva Samadhi. That is our usual practice. Okay. Uh, 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 but yesterday I was in city. I was with my set of persons. But uh, when they were all busy, we go, we offer some things and all. But I was, I just told them, uh, uh, I, am, I am not interested to come, I don't know why. But uh, from that time, my my inner mind is asking me why I told like that. Why I am away from this my my regular practice? What is the reason? And uh, now as of now, I am I am I am not a very long follower of Bhagavad I Just that too might be three or four months. That's all. But what has really happened to me that. Uh, it doesn't mean that I have lost faith in God or something like that. But uh, why didn't I go? Because I enjoy, I love, uh, I do some devotion every time. But why, why did I not go yesterday with them? I had time. Still I never, uh, I just told them. I, I do not know why I am not doing the to come. But I do not, but why did it that? Uh, uh, thinking is, is that a thinking or thought that came in my mind? That's all. So yesterday, your state of uh, state of mind wasn't uh, such a state, sir. So you just said uh, you don't want to go to the temple. So it came as a thought, and then you acted on it. And you said you are not going to the temple. 
it's okay, fine. I mean, there is no need for you to ponder on why this happened and uh, how it happened and all. Yesterday, your state of mind was like that. It's okay. Just let go. That's it. Okay. Next. Uh, when we are answering uh, Mahesh, uh, you are telling uh, that uh, uh, when he asked whether the enlightenment uh, by Osho is different or uh, our enlightenment is different, uh, you answered as if, uh, uh, whether, uh, whether I, I took this way or I don't know, that enlightenment uh, might differ. But did I hear it properly? That's what I want. I don't know how uh, Osho got enlightened or Buddha got enlightened. We do not have a personal uh, uh, description from them. So we've only, it's only a hearsay what we have heard. But I can talk about my experience. So I can be authentic about my experience. About their experience, it's only a hearsay. So I don't want to talk anything about that. I can talk about my experience and people around me who have uh, shared their experiences with me, uh, what they feel and what is their outcome, that much I can talk about it. So that is an authentic information as far as I am concerned. Fine, but the truth has to be one. If the truth has to be one, all the feelings of enlightenment received by Ramana Maharishi or JK or Osho or Buddha or you or me must be the same, isn't it? Yes, the freedom which we feel internally is the same. How they got it is what the difference is. So I don't know how they got it, how they perceived it is different. So how I'm perceiving it is a different. So the internal freedom, psychologically, the freedom which I have, so because of that, I, I'm free now. I'm totally free now. So that freedom is what I consider as my liberation. Uh, uh, um, I do this. Their way of approach may be different. Yes. Meditation is the only way. Yes. But our way is give up meditation. Yes, this is a but, scientific and logical way. Uh, fine, fine, fine. Uh, that, uh, I have other than a foreign part of it. But uh, whatever may be the path, you, you go to Delhi via Bombay or uh, Calcutta or uh, Hyderabad, but the, I must, but we are all going to Delhi. That's it. Correct? Yes. yes. But, so I mean, the bliss feeling, uh, this feeling that has been uh, tasted by Osho or our Aya or you and me will be the same, isn't it? Yeah, it depends. That's what. So it depends on the definition of enlightenment and the definition of bliss. There. Suppose uh, they say that they were in bliss always 24 by 7 without any ups and downs. Then I don't know what that uh, what the what is the meaning of that bliss, but the bliss which I'm experiencing is I'm free internally. I do not have any expectations on my mind anymore. My focus is only on the external world. I'm psychologically and completely free. So I'm under total bliss always. Whatever happens internally, ups and downs will be there. Emotions will be there. Positive emotions will come up. Negative emotions will come up. Positive emotions will go, negative emotions will go. I understand this much and I am I completely put a no entry board inside. So psychologically, I, there is no conflict in me. So when there is no conflict in me, I'm completely free. So in that no. sense, I'm in bliss. Uh, this is not, that, that I am very clear. I am now uh, because I have followed and traveled all the paths and, and, uh, and I have, uh, when I have just got blocked in the no entry, I have found this place. So I have tasted all the way of meditation or uh, mantram or homam or whatever it is. I have tried everything and I have uh, found this. I am comfortable. My, what my, again my doubt is, I can, uh, 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 mantram, uh, by uh, bliss can be achieved through chanting, bliss can be achieved through some severe uh, sacrifices. Uh, but whatever may be the way, let it be the very most simplest uh, way, like our way, way, the simplest way and the best way. My thing is the enlightenment that is the, uh, the, the feeling 
of enlightenment uh, will be will be the same isn't it will be the same might be what you are telling is due to duration of my practice it might it uh, might increase uh, but what bhagavata is telling is once this at this achieved is achieved and the jnana mukti vilunda the vilunda is not it can not come when he is when he has tried for meditation he stayed for some time he came down again he stayed for some time he came down and after attaining after bhagavataya attaining this method he himself has tried for a year or more and then he has found this is the simplest way and he is very generous to come and give to this world Uh, again, <laughs> again, my doubt is, after practicing for a long time, will the intensity of the, the pleasure I am enjoying now will be the same or will be more? More in the sense, uh, the, the, the period, uh, more in the sense, the, sense, the period will be, the more in the sense is, as mahesh told uh, we both we both are the same thing only see uh, uh, when i when i just ignore some hundred uh, thoughts i get stuck with the hundred and one thoughts again i get stuck to it and my brain interferes and again and uh, i am not continuously uh, ignoring the unwanted thoughts also so uh, do you, do you mean to say that uh, when i practice for a long time i i will be very comfortable in that so there is nothing to practice here sir first of all there is no effort required in our understanding it is only an understanding so as once that's what as again told you when we expect our mind to function in a particular way then you are giving a different definition for that so what we are telling is you don't have any expectation on the mind you cannot control you cannot have any expectation on the mind it will behave in its own fashion it will behave in its own way please do not have an expectation from the mind this is what we are trying to say so when we drop the expectation from the mind the mind itself will get altered in such a fashion in which all the things which you are saying will happen in due course of time but we do let's not have an expectation from the mind that the mind should be like this after enlightenment let's understand that the mind will behave in its own fashion so whatever happens in the mind let's not bother about it let's not take responsibility for the mind okay so when we do not take responsibility for whatever is happening in the mind so we we are not bothered about what's happening in the mind so the mind will change its shape on its own so all these thoughts the duration the frequency will automatically increase the duration between one thought and another and the intensity of the emotion will automatically reduce all these things will happen this will be the by product but let's not have that as an ex, uh, expectation and work towards that there's nothing for you to work on it now there's nothing for you to put an effort and do something all we are telling is do nothing as far as the mind is concerned inaction is the action which we ask uh, you all to take that's it fine fine uh i three or four weeks back you gave one uh, keyword agatte suravu purate varu that was that uh, that in part in my mind fine the next week you told the uh, valke valu dirke uh, that was also in part in my mind fine and jee many i have speech on the, was very fine excellent speech on that uh, one uh, subject summa uh, yethu நினைக்கிறோம் இல்லையா அதுதான் தேவையில்லைன்னு நம்ம சொல்றோம் 
உள்ள பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் இன்ஆக்ஷன் இஸ் தி ஆக்ஷன் ரிக்வயர் வெளிய பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் ஆக்ஷன் இஸ் தி ஆக்ஷன் ரிக்வயர் உள்ள பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் இன்ஆக்ஷன் இஸ் தி ஆக்ஷன் ரிக்வயர் அந்த ஐ கேன் சே ஐ ஈஸிலி அப்ளைங் தி கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் அனுபவம் அனுபவிப்பவன் அதெல்லாம் கரெக்ட்டா வருது பட் ஸ்டில் ஐ திங்க் சோ ஐ கேன் ஐ குட்ன்ட் கெட் மை செல்ஃப் சேஞ்ச் இன் எ வெரி ஷார்ட் பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் ஐ வில் இது நாட் அ கோஸ் சி தேர் இஸ் நதிங் ஃபார் யூ டு அப்ளை இங்க வந்து அப்ளை பண்றது knowledge அப்ளை பண்றது இல்ல நான் எஃபோர்ட் போடுறது இது ஒரு பயிற்சி முயற்சி அப்படி சொல்லவே இல்ல இல்லையா நம்ம இது ஒரு புரிது அது அப்படி தான் இருக்கும் மனசுனா அது அப்படி தான் இருக்கும் புரிஞ்சிக்க சொல்றோம் அந்த புரிதல் ஏற்பட ஏற்பட நம்ம மனசு புறக்கணிக்கிறோம் இல்லையா அந்த மாதிரி மைண்டை நம்ம புறக்கணிக்க புறக்கணிக்க அந்த மைண்டோட ஷேப்பே மாறும் Yeah, the other changes also will happen in due course of time. But let's not have it as an expectation. That's our goal is set, but let's not work towards that. So there is no goal for the mind. That is going... That is how I shouldn't go there, handle that thing there. That is going behind there. Before that, my activities are coming in. Anyhow, this is a good explanation. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank, Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Okay. Um, Surabhi, I've unmuted you, Mark. Can you unmute yourself and speak? Yes. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. So, as you have said, that it is the external task that we need to take responsibility for. Yes. And internally, things will go on their own yes i called right yes. so uh, keeping this in mind what uh, i see myself doing is uh, i'm looking more and more outside for external tasks to do um, so when i don't have a task there seems to be um, the psychological mind is on fire so there's a lot happening inside and uh, because i i like i'm like i'm walking or i'm going for a walk or i'm in the park so every object in the park is wherever i turn my head uh, i'm getting thoughts continuously from every like there is a mental commentary which goes on every object so um is that is that usual <laughs> is that yes ma um, see suppose you're driving a car so there is a rear view mirror over there okay right so when you are driving a car so all the objects all the vehicles which were coming behind you they will appear on the mirror is that right yeah so how do we use the mirror suppose i need to take a u turn left turn or a right turn at that time i just look at the mirror and then do whatever is to be done externally okay so okay. other times does that mean that the mirror will not reflect what's happening outside it's only when i look in the mirror can be i mean i don't need to look all the time obviously i need to keep my focus on the wheel or on on the car that i'm driving yeah so but the mirror will always be reflecting right right Okay, so now you are going for a walk. The mind will reflect whatever the senses are perceiving. Yeah, but it's a lot of noise. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You don't bother about it. That's the function of the mind. That's its nature. Okay. Okay. So once we endure it, now this loud noise, which is happening as a foreground music. will become a background music when we take responsibility and then we start owning up those thoughts and emotions then they come to the forefront when you don't take responsibility and then you take a back seat they also go back and they go to the background they are not in the foreground anymore right okay and another thing see this focusing on the external world 
it's not as an excuse it's not as an escapism from this psychological world no we are not telling that what we are telling is psychologically these things will be there see as far as the external world is concerned what is success success is being successful in the external world is what you describe as success in the external world but as far as the internal world is concerned failure is the success are you getting my point so we have yes. to accept our complete failure in the psychological world complete surrender i can't do anything with the thought and emotion that come on the end right complete failure to the psychological world is what we are doing so this focusing on the external world is not as an escapism okay so when you are free when there is nothing to do in the psychological world mind will keep functioning on its own so the expectation from the mind that it should not function is what is the problem so complete surrender complete failure as far as the mind is concerned it will behave in that fashion only when you take understand and uh, understand the complete failure of yours as far as the mind is concerned you are taking your hands off your mind you do not have any stand as far as the mind is concerned you do not own up what's happening in the internally okay okay thank you is that clear enough thank you is your question answered thank you uh, mahesh you can unmute yourself yeah uh, as you said Uh, in the due course of time, uh, things will start happening. Yes. So how do we know that uh, we are on that path uh, where uh, things are going to change? That's why there is no need for you to peep inside and see. Okay, you will see the difference. The, uh, explicitly, the difference will be felt, will be seen by you. But you don't focus your different, uh, your attention on the difference. Whether I am seeing any difference, whether have I changed, whether the emotions have changed, whether the duration has come down, there is no need for you, for you to put your put your focus on that. Forget about it. Forget about the psychological world completely and put your focus only on the external world. Because now that you have understood, nothing can be done in the psychological world. So don't put your focus on that at all. Whatever is happening, it's okay. Everything is happening. It's just happening internally, psychologically. So you don't put your attention in due course. You yourself will see the difference. What we are telling is, you don't put your attention on the difference. You don't have an expectation on the mind to see whether there is any difference is happening. Whether to, from tomorrow, whether this difference is happening. Okay, after a week, whether any difference has come now. There is no need for you to put a timeline on this. Don't put a time frame. Okay, then uh... you accept your failure to the mind, complete surrender to the mind. When there is complete surrender to the mind, and the focus is only on the external world, changes will occur. Yeah, the focus is on the external world all the time, no doubt about it. But uh, only when we fail in the external world, that will reflect in the. internal world and that internal world will be disturbed and that disturbance will disturb you yes. all the time yes <laughs> it will okay. when we cannot do anything about the external failure that will bother us internally yes now how to come to terms with this internal botheration the disturbance will be there accept it yes disturbance will be there and it will move away Only when you resist, resist it, it persists. Don't resist it. When you do not resist that disturbance, it will not persist. It will move away. It is still persisting in, in spite of uh, uh, all the uh, knowledge which I got from Aya. Still, that uh, the disturbance is still persisting. Okay, so you have you put a time frame that it it will it will disappear after a day or after a week or after a month. It should last only for a day 
or it should last only for a week have you put any such uh, condition on that as a yes yes all you have to do is understanding the concept yes nothing more than that ha huh. so my focus is on the understanding of the concept okay so after understanding the concept either now or maybe in the future or in the due course of time if i am not seeing uh, that understanding bringing about any change any sort of difference as you said i am i am in a bliss i am in a blissful state yeah uh, you have used the term bliss in the blissful state of mind so that means uh, after understanding the concept your uh, your mind is not uh, bothering you the way it used to bother earlier probably you are in a you, you are you are in a blissful state means uh, probably you are uh, uh, you are finding more freedom with your mind yeah i am not putting my attention on the mind i am not putting my attention on the psychological world i do get angry ups and downs are there worries do come everything do happen like earlier only even i know i am it's not that i don't get angry anymore negative thoughts don't come negative emotions don't come it's not like that these things do come they do come but i don't bother about them because i know i can't do anything about them so i don't put my focus on the psychological world i focus only on the external world externally if i have to do something i focus there internally this noise will be there yeah that's okay but uh... that is the concept of uh, iaji but uh, but i am still bothering in spite of knowing the concept what do you but mean I'm, by this bothering knowing that i should not bother still i am bothering i it, it will go it's okay so, so probably okay. so, so probably the reason is the ego because i am having too much of ego i am still uh, bothering about uh, those uh, external failures which are uh, coming as uh, thoughts and troubling me Yeah. So, I mean, what do we do about so, thoughts? Okay. So they come as. as ego, I am not able to accept it. Probably because of that ego, I am not able to uh, shift my focus from the uh, uh, thoughts which are arising in the mind. Probably the the point here probably uh, could be the ego, which is uh, which is the factor which is uh, uh, acting as a hindrance. in my enlightened mind okay so so you were telling about uh, these things which are coming as thoughts to you so have you uh, listened to the talk about thought and thinking do you know about thought and thinking the difference between that yeah thoughts are coming on their own we have no control on them yeah. so what do you do about the thoughts which come on their own it is under our control whether we have to entertain them or not is under our control okay so what do you what should we do about the thoughts which come on their own you should not uh, bother about them it's as simple as that yeah because so they are coming on their own it is an animal thing yeah. so it is not on its own it is not okay. uh, bother about them it will come and go on its own yeah but i am bothering because probably because uh, the factor is ego i am having a lot of ego and i think i am doing it because i want to finish up that one i want to find a solution i want to uh, uh, i i i am i'm not able to accept it that accept acceptance is not coming into picture uh, there are some factors that the factor could be the ego or maybe something else yeah okay so whatever be the reason is it possible for you to take them as just thoughts and let go of them whatever disturbances that are coming to you as thoughts is it possible for you to take them as just thoughts and let them go not attach any importance to them no i am not able to do that okay it's okay sir you it's okay for the time being whatever is happening with you let it happen the same way it will happen you will be able to do it you keep listening to this you keep uh, uh, testing yourself to see whether these are coming on your own and uh, these things will happen how long as you said in that in that don't put a time frame in that due course of time things will change in the due yes. course of time 
yes. you want you stop bothering but uh, this due course of time uh, how much time i mean do we put a time frame for that two years or uh, lifetime or maybe uh, like uh, great enlightened masters have to wait for many many lifetimes to come no no this it will happen you just focus on the understanding it will happen sir just uh, let's not put a time frame in that in fact i have uh, uh, this has nothing to do with uh, one's education or uh, one's qualification or uh, uh, you know one's background and so on uh, in fact i have i have come across people who are uh, far more educated far more uh, uh, intelligent than than myself and uh, I, i have come across uh, one person uh, uh, there is something called schizophrenia mm. okay you, you keep on brooding over the past all the time i, I have come across one person recently uh, i went to one camp one yoga camp where i come came across one person who is actually a very uh, highly educated and uh, uh, you know a person who worked in a, a very high position but that guy probably uh, suffering with schizophrenia he is not able to even sleep in the night uh, he says that uh, i had a problem with my colleagues when i was working uh, in a big company and uh, those thoughts are uh, bothering me even now i am not able to even sleep sleep properly those those thoughts uh, those bad experiences are coming to me time and again and uh, they are disturbing me and uh, i am not able to even uh, have a good night sleep uh, so so i i gave him uh, in fact uh, he read uh, the books of iag as well uh, he attended uh, uh, the sessions of iag as well but uh, in spite of that uh, he is the same person i think has changed for it okay that uh, i do not have i don't know sir what is the reason for that but if the understanding is uh, the reason could be the proper because uh, he is not able to come to terms with the bad experiences of the past and those those are those, those bad experiences those bad external experiences are coming back as uh, thoughts and nightmares to him time and again and they are troubling him he knows that it is experience of the past okay it is no more uh, the reality of the present it is some is some bad experience of the past and they are coming as thoughts and they are coming as nightmares and troubling him and uh, probably the uh, the reason why uh, they are troubling is because uh, because of his ego that ego is not able the ego which is in him is not allowing him to accept whatever wrong has happened with him and uh, that ego is not not allowing him to accept what has happened with him and uh, probably because of uh, that ego uh, he is always uh, all the time dealing with those uh, uh, those thoughts of bad experience and all the time uh, he is getting agitated and all the time he is getting angry and all the time he is getting disturbed even in the even in the night when everybody you know supposed to sleep peacefully he can't even have a good night sleep and the reason could be the reason is not the understanding he has the understanding the reason is probably it could be the ego which is not allowing him to accept it and uh, you know get along with life so probably you can ask, you can ask speak to aya sir which probably aya has missed it, uh, missed out no you can ask him to speak to aya he will definitely get a solution if aya's concept is uh, is accurate if it is an end to end solution for enlightenment then whoever has a good understanding of the concepts of aya should get enlightened if the understanding is proper yes sooner or later if the understanding is proper yes 
if it is sooner well and good but if it is later then uh, then when i mean there, there is no limit for the time that's what uh, if you are expecting again from the mind then it uh, it will only increase the duration sir as uh, the sooner you drop the expectation from your mind the sooner it will happen you know all of us have expectations out of our mind i mean if a person is really showing interest uh, in the concepts of enlightenment that means he he has some expectations that uh, his mind has to function in a much better way he, his mind has to uh, you know uh, function uh, yes it has to achieve the serenity which all the enlightened masters uh, seem to have uh, got when yes. you say enlightened if you say uh, buddha got enlightened buddha is a is a person uh, who probably he has the kind of uh, serenity which nobody has uh, when when somebody uh, speaks about the stories of buddha uh, all we know that uh, he is a is a person of a different uh, uh, stature altogether so probably all of us uh, want to achieve that particular uh, stature that particular state of mind in which buddha always used to live if you uh, if you uh, listen to the stories of buddha okay you get to know that uh, 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 he is a person with a different state of mind altogether he perceives things differently he does not react the way normal human beings behave okay uh, he is a is a different person altogether and probably everybody who is in, who is interested in enlightenment uh, maybe they want to come somewhere close to uh, that kind of a person and uh, with that expectation only people are uh, uh, reading the literature of iag or people are trying to attend the um, uh, discourses or uh, lectures on enlightenment so everybody who is uh, listening to this concept of enlightenment they have some expectations from their mind they they want to know something extraordinary which will change their functioning of their mind if their mind is functioning the same way as it is uh, functioning earlier uh, then uh, then i think uh, their expectations have not been met okay so again uh, i repeat that if you are having any expectations from the mind it will not happen sir we have to understand the complete failure there is nothing that can be done with the mind this is the only understanding we need to get once we get this understanding that that we can do nothing about the mind we cannot control the mind at all we cannot maintain the mind in the same state forever normally people think enlightenment means maintaining the same state being in the peaceful state forever always remaining in the same state but we are not talking about that what we are telling is mind will have ups and downs that's its nature it will behave in its own fashion so understanding that the mind is just a manual for the mind we are telling you like how you have a manual for tv so once you read the manual you know how to operate the tv that's it we are just telling giving a manual for the mind so once you know how to operate the mind you will know what is to be done with the mind and what is not to be done with the mind so when once you know about the mind you can use it only for the external world and not for the internal world nothing can be done about the thoughts and emotions which come on their own and you stop taking up responsibility for that the mind will change on its own but the understanding should be firm and proper and this will happen and there's no time frame for this Okay, sir. Okay, bye. Thank you. Uh, Sadashivan, sir, you can unmute yourself and speak, sir. I, yes, sir. I won't take time. Yeah. It's okay. Actually, okay. everybody is uh, the problem is everyone is thinking that uh, there is a person to achieve, the the person to understand. 
uh, there is something to achieve they think yes yeah but they, they don't take it that way they they think that it has to happen to me there is no me there is no person that's the that's the it's the one they are not understanding if, if there is nothing to achieve in this path in ayas path there is nothing to achieve we are not talking about achieving anything we are just talking about understanding and letting go there is nothing to achieve in this so many understand are, that hmm. sorry many people think that an enlightenment is something for you to achieve that we say there is nothing to achieve but that understanding is also some achievement is it no 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 sir you are just understanding you are not achieving something you are not reaching somewhere you are not going and uh, reaching somewhere you are just understanding that this is how the mind functions you can't do anything with the mind so you accept your complete failure to the mind and you focus your attention only on the external world that's it as far as the psychological world mind is concerned i think can be done so you accept your complete failure there so is it correct to say that there is no me or person like that whenever a uh, see, see see what is this uh, me see i experience something so it's like a tongue sir so the tongue it is there always so when you put some sugar it assumes a taste of uh, it gets that sweetness and when you put something salty it gets that salty taste so like that the me is always there so whatever we experience it becomes it takes the form of an experiencer oh that is the me okay. ha okay so when there is no experience there is no experiencer To, to experience means you to have me, is it right? Yeah, experiencer, experiencer will or also arise whenever an experience arises. That's that's very clear. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the time is up. So any more questions, or shall we close the session for today? Mahesh, you can unmute yourself and speak. Yeah, probably the uh, the understanding has to become ingrained, ingrained in the mind. Only then uh, uh, this, uh, as as Ayya says, only then the mind is going to function, or only then you are going to function in accordance with the concept of Ayya. That's all. You don't take it as Ayya's understanding. Make it your own understanding. That's you okay. work on it. You check and test yourself. The change will happen according to the concept of uh, uh, Bhagavad Gita. Only when uh, these concepts get ingrained in the mind. I think just understanding is not sufficient. The understanding has to get ingrained. Uh, when the understanding gets ingrained. Only then, probably, maybe sooner or later, uh, the person is going to behave or uh, is going to act in accordance with uh, uh, the concepts which uh, have been laid out by the Bhagavad Gita. Or else, uh, I think uh, uh, the life is going to be as usual. That's all. See again, what you are telling is concepts laid down by Ayaji. So what uh, we are telling is, don't have it as Ayya's concepts. Make it your concepts. Uh, that's okay, but uh, unless it is ingrained uh, in the mind, nothing is going to happen. Yeah. So unless the understanding is complete, I would say as complete. Unless the understanding is complete, yes, it may not happen. Once the understanding is complete, then it will happen. Complete in the sense what? That means uh, the current understanding is incomplete. Ah, that's what it has to be your own understanding. The, these concepts have to be your own concepts. Yes, these are correct. This is how it is. How this is how the mind the functions. Thing has not been complete. How do I know that the understanding is incomplete? That's what. Because that's why these questions are arising, no sir. 
once the understanding is complete then we will know yes this will come i do not have any expectation i cannot have i cannot expect my mind to be serene from tomorrow it will change in due course of time these things we will understand you will see the change but i must see any change lot you will see lot you will see past lot lot of time has passed you will see the understanding has to become your own understanding that's what i'm telling the problem has is to become the, your own when I mean, there is no time bound uh, solution to any concept uh, then uh, the time will keep on passing like this no no in no time you can sir you can understand it in no time sir it's instant the once you once it becomes your own understanding the relief is instant that's okay but uh, how do i know whether i really understood or uh, my understanding is complete or incomplete if it is complete then as you said uh, when the understanding understanding is complete i have to uh, Uh, start behaving uh, in accordance with that you can test the way you are going wrong what is your expectation what is it that you are expecting what is it that is not as happening uh, from from your mind uh, what are the do's and don'ts that you have for the mind you can list it out and you can find out so then this understanding you can uh, you can compare it and see then you will know way you are going wrong what's not happening what is missing what is the missing link that you will find out yeah there is a missing link certainly there is a missing link somewhere uh, that missing link uh, could be uh, there could be something uh, some, some missing link uh, which uh, probably i am not able to detect. we will discuss this uh, i will you can give me your phone number i will text you we will discuss this in person then we may be able to find out the missing link yeah maybe in the next zoom talk we will discuss yeah we can do that also let's see The, the the topic is missing link yeah so personally when we talk when we can discuss on a more personal level then maybe we will be able to find out so if we are not able to do it on the zoom session we can have a one to one discussion yeah that's okay okay is that fine fine So shall I unmute? Uh, shall I mute you? Yeah, fine. Thank yeah. You. Thank you so much. So I thank all the participants for today's session. Uh, there is some message in. Yeah, Surabhi, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Ma. Very considerate. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's conclude today's session. We will meet soon. Um,